What's going on people? Today is just going to be a quick update related to Astelia Online and Ascent Infinite Realm. Recently, Baron Sun Games announced their closed beta overview for the CBT1 for Astelia Online, giving some more information about how the testing phase is going to work. Starting by saying that the CBT phase will focus on testing server performance, player versus environment progression, and collecting user data to support their content updates. During the beta, not all the aspects of the game client will match their intended launch specifications and on top of that, one example is the tutorial system, which will mirror the version available during the KR launch. The reasoning behind this is to provide the developers with data in order to improve the western version of the game. For the first 5 days of CBT, we'll be able to play the game in its default state, which will allow them to measure progression speed, determine problematic areas, and overall give a baseline of how various systems are going to work in the game. Beyond this general information, they're also going to be paying close attention to how normal and legendary dungeons are performing. Their concern here is gear progression, and they want to make sure that the progression from normal to legendary dungeons is both up to par, and as a result of this, they'll be implementing an NPC on Saturday, which will be June 29th, I believe is the day they're talking about. This NPC will allow us to boost our characters to level 50 and provide a set of suitable equipment. One thing to note is that to use this level up NPC, our characters need to be level 10 or higher. For the technical side of things, we don't need to do anything other than play the game as we normally would. All of CBT1 participants will be connecting to the North American server, and they do this to provide as much pressure to the game as possible. So translation is basically expect some server crashes, maybe a lot, probably a lot. They do make it clear in this article though that although we'll be connecting to the NA server, we will have separate servers for both NA and EU and this is specifically set up for testing purposes. Pre-download information is also available. It looks like starting today we'll be getting access to the CBT1 client which will be available to download later this evening. Following Pacific Standard Time and no specific time zone has been provided yet. Beyond testing the previous points and collecting gameplay information, we will also be experiencing the first wave of combat improvements that include active dodging as well as the improved animations, as well as the new in-game wiki, performance improvements, and more. I'm also hoping this means we'll get a more fluid combat experience and be able to enjoy the game to the full amount. For those of you on the outside looking in that may have wanted to try this game out or may want to in the future, just don't expect anything out of this world of next generation here. That's not what this game is aiming to be or being advertised as, and you'll see a lot of similarities more than likely of MMOs you've already played. But I'd say that as long as it works and is capable of providing a decent in-game experience, that's really all you need as a baseline. Be sure to check out the Discord server for the game to stay up to date as the day gets closer. CBT1 will only be available for those who have purchased the Legendary Founders Pack, beginning on June 25th. On top of that, for those of you following Ascent Infinite Realm, signups for the Korean test have now concluded. The game's beta test will be starting next week as well, for those that managed to get beta keys. The more information will probably pop up soon for that one. And with that folks, that is all that we have for today, and thank you guys so much for joining and hope you have a wonderful night or day. And farewell.